Okay, friends, we'll start off laying down. So stretch yourself out on the floor. Close your eyes. We'll just take a little time to settle in and transition. Big breath. Through your nose as much as you can. All right, and really scoot your shoulder blades underneath you. Give you a little tuck in your chin so your neck feels long. And as you breathe, really fill up your lungs. Fill all the available space in your rib cage. Let your belly puff open too on the inhales. And with your exhales, pull all of that in towards center. Clean your breath out. And just give your breath some time to get longer and slower and your body time to soften into the floor. Notice the temperature of your breath and the depth of it. Maybe it changes over time. I notice changes in your body too. A softening toward the floor. Hopefully your chest starts to feel a bit big and spacious. If you had any tension in your chest, this is where you want to feel it melting away. Notice your thoughts here. Okay, whatever you notice them doing is fine. You're just watching them like clouds. And let your thoughts do their own thing and bring your awareness back to you. What's happening right now? Your breath, your body, this moment. So keep your big breath, friends. We'll just start to move a bit. We'll wake up your back. So with your arms out to the side, put a little bend in the elbows. We'll start reaching the hands way back behind you. Take a big breath in when you're all stretched out. And with your exhale, bend your elbows and pull them down by your rib cage, like you're pulling on a chin up bar. Inhale again, reach your arms out long as they can be. Remember to keep your neck long though, because your shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale, pull your elbows down by your ribs. Let's take a few like that. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Keep it going. So you want to keep your arms close to the ground, right? That's what's gonna give you that really nice opening across your chest. Hopefully you feel that from shoulder to shoulder. And you also feel your back, your shoulders getting nice and warm. So keep going. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Let's do three more like this. Use that back. Two more. Last one. Nice. 
nice. Go ahead and let this go and let your arms relax. Fingers kind of by your ears and your elbows are bent. And then bring your knees in. And then feet up off the floor. So you're floating your knees over your hips, okay? Knees are at about a right angle. Okay, and from here, we're gonna play a little bit. So if it's okay with your neck and shoulders and it feels all right, pick up your head and your shoulder blades up off the floor. But you wanna keep your neck long. So try to avoid looking at your chest or looking at the world behind you. And just look up, okay? So that your neck is equally long and soft on all sides. And your fingers are by your ears. And then we're gonna take turns. Draw your left knee towards your right armpit. Draw your right armpit towards your left knee. And as you do that, extend your right leg. And then bring it back to center. Switch sides, right armpit, or right knee to left armpit, extend the left leg, and then back to center. Let's switch sides again, exhale, inhale back to center. Again, exhale, inhale back to center. So let's keep it going. It's a tiny movement. It's not really super dramatic, big movement, but we're really warming up your core. We're warming up your abs, especially your obliques. So keep that low back on the floor. Keep breathing side to side. Side to side. If this is too much, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna drop your head on the floor and you're just gonna do the legs, okay? So I'm giving you an, a demo of what that might look like. Okay, if you like the challenge and you want more challenge, okay, you wanna spice it up, you're gonna extend your legs and you're gonna extend your arms, okay? Whenever we take things away from the center, we make it a little bit more challenging. So let's do three more on each side. Two more. Last one. Nice. Bring it back to center. Ha, ah, rest your head and shoulders back on the floor. Nice work. All right, tuck your hands behind your knees here. We're gonna rock it up a few times. Rock it up in balance, okay? And then I wanna play around here with starting to cross your ankles when you come up, dropping your feet and leaning forward. So you can let go of your knees here. Cross those ankles, lean forward. Try it a few times. Come up, ankles cross, leaning forward. So now what you're gonna to start to do is you're just gonna challenge yourself to get those hips off the floor a little bit when you lean forward. Okay, keep it going. Next time, come up a little higher. And then what you see, you can guess, eventually we're gonna come all the way up to standing, okay? Once you do come up to standing, take a big breath in, reach up, look up. And then exhale here, bend your knees, hinge at your hips and come all the way down. You're keeping your ankles crossed. So bend those knees, fingertips down, maybe palms down, hang your head, shake it out. And just take a moment here. <laughs> Breathe deeply into your low back. Let your spine hang. And just, this is a really good time to notice if the backs of your legs feel tense, if your low back is feeling tense, you're noticing right now, and that's okay. Go ahead and switch the crossing of your ankles, bend those knees generously and just hang. Take some big breath into your back. Nice, from here, step into your feet, ankles are still crossed. Inhale and roll yourself all the way up. Okay, whatever leg is in front, you're gonna lift it. So go ahead and lift that top leg up in front. And then with your exhale, send that leg back, drop your hands under your shoulders, 
other leg back. We are back in a plank pose, okay? All the way down to plank. So remember you can drop your knees in a plank or you can lift your knees to make it more challenging. But let's hold here for a few more breaths. And I just wanna move a little bit. So remember to drop those knees if you need to, okay? Okay, with your inhale, press into your left hand. Reach up with your right. You're gonna take it to a side plank. And I'm gonna show you that you can do this with a knee down or a knee up. It's really up to you. Exhale down through your plank. Other side on your inhale, left hand up, side plank. So I just wanna take back it down to plank and then up to side plank. So we'll take it a few more times. Inhale plank or inhale side plank, exhale plank. Inhale other side plank, exhale plank. So while you're moving, you need to keep pushing that floor away. You need to keep your core strong, don't you? That belly button rolling into your spine. And you can drop your knees and it's the same thing. Still need to keep that upper body strong. Okay, let's do three more on each side. So three and three. Nice and slow, yogis. Two, feeling strong in your arms, strong in your core, and two. One more, get the lower body involved. One and one. Very nice, press it back to down dog here. Bend those down dog knees and walk your hands back to your feet. Again, just hang. Oh, really bend your knees, let the spine hang. Maybe grab your elbows here, adding a little extra weight to hang on your hips. <sighs> okay, we're gonna roll it up. So release your elbows, push into your heels and press into the floor. Stack your spine up, lift up nice and high with your heart and look up. All right, exhale here, drop it into your chair squats. You're dropping your tailbone, pulling your knees in toward each other and lift your belly button up and in as you look up. Okay, inhale all the way back up to standing. Then exhale here, hinging at your hips, fold it all the way down. Okay, we're gonna start to move and get warm. Inhale here, find your plank. And exhale, find your downward facing dog. You can keep your knees really bent, okay? Now here we go, we're gonna move. Feel free to slow it down and take breaks. Okay, friends, with your inhale, right leg up in the sky behind you. Exhale here, send that right knee toward your right elbow. Maybe you could bend your elbows and do a little tiny mini push up while you do that. Inhale, press the floor away, right leg in the sky behind you. Exhale here, right knee to your left elbow because you do a little tiny mini push up while you do that. Inhale, push the floor away, left right leg in the air. Exhale here, right knee to your nose because you do a tiny mini push up while you do that. And inhale, push the floor away, right leg in the sky. Very nice, exhale here, right foot forward, drop it outside your hand. Okay, drop your hips nice and low in your lunge. And with your inhale, right hand up in the sky, look up, you're twisting. Exhale, right hand reaches under that left arm, reach far. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, right hand down on the floor. Inhale, the right leg back in the sky, three leg dog. And exhale, right foot down. Let's do that on the other side, getting warm. Inhale, left leg in the air. Exhale, left knee forward to the left elbow. Do a tiny push up. Inhale, back to three leg dog. Exhale, now left knee to right elbow. Do a teeny push up. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, this time left knee to your nose. Tiny push up. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale here, left foot forward, drop it outside your hands. Get those hips nice and low for your lunge. Remember you can drop the right knee, okay? And inhale to twist, left hand reaching up. 
Exhale to thread that left arm underneath your right. Reach far. Inhale to reach it up again. One more time. And exhale, left hand down under your shoulders. Inhale here, three-legged dog, left leg in the sky. And exhale, bring it down. Inhale here, find your plank. Okay, going to take a little vinyasa and we'll do it again. Exhale here, walk to your hands and fold. Inhale here, drop your hips, pull those knees toward each other and reach up for your chair squat. Okay, exhale here, twisting. Open your arms to the right. Look behind you as your right hand. Drop low. Inhale back to your chair squat and drop lower. On the other side, exhale, open to the left. Look behind you. Keep those knees pointing forward. Inhale all the way up back to your chair squat. Drop lower. Then exhale here, hands down, hips up, back to your fold. Halfway up on your inhale, look forward. Put some weight in your toes. And with your exhale here, fold all the way back. Hug your legs. Palms are down here. Inhale and step it back to your plank. And with your exhale, lower yourself down. See if you can take it really slow on the way down. Okay, roll those shoulders back, point your tailbone down, and inhale to pull your heart up and open for cobra. And exhale, cobras, press yourself up and back to downward facing dog. Okay, so I wanna get a little warmer, so I wanna do exactly what we just did two more times. We're gonna take it a little teensy bit faster this time because it's a little bit more familiar. So don't worry if you need to slow it down or uh, take a break, okay. So inhale here, right leg up in the sky. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, tiny push up. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, tiny push up. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee to nose, tiny push up. Inhale, three-leg dog. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, right hand up, twist. Exhale, right hand reaches under left, reach. Inhale, right hand up, back to your twist. And exhale, right hand down, lunge. Inhale, three-leg dog, right leg up in the sky. And exhale, right foot down, downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, left leg up in the sky, three leg dog. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, tiny push up. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, tiny push up. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee or left knee to nose, tiny push up. Inhale, three-leg dog. Exhale, left foot forward by your left hand, a lunge. Drop those hips. Inhale, left hand up, twisting, look up. Exhale, reach the left hand under the right so far. Inhale, reach it up, look up. And exhale, left hand down, back in your lunge. Inhale here, left leg up in the sky, three-leg dog. And exhale, drop the left foot next to the right. Here comes that little vinyasa. Inhale here, heart forward to plank. Exhale, step to your hands and fold. Drop your hips, bend your knees and come up to your chair, squat, utkatasana. Now we'll stay here for a few breaths. Exhale as you twist, open to one side. Look behind you, but point your knees forward. Inhale back to your chair, squat and drop lower. Exhale, other side, twist to look behind you, point those knees forward. Inhale, back to your squat and drop lower. Exhale here, hands down, hips up and fold. Halfway up on your inhale, unroll your spine. And with your exhale, really big fold. 
palms are down. Inhale to plank. And exhale, lower yourself slowly down. Inhale, cobra, pull that heart up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew, walk it out. We're going to do it one more time. We're trying to get a little warmer here, trying to wake up all the muscles, wake up all the joints. One more, maybe a teensy bit faster. Okay. Inhaling here, right leg in the sky, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee to your nose. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, right foot forward. Find that lunge. Remember, you can drop the left knee if you need to, okay? Inhale to twist, right hand up, looking up. Exhale to thread the right arm under the left, reach. Inhale to reach it up again, big twist. And exhale, right hand down, back in your lunge, drop those hips. Inhale, three leg dog, right leg in the sky. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Now just one more time on the left, inhaling here, left leg in the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, tiny push up. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, tiny push up. Inhale, send it back, three leg. Exhale, left knee to your nose, teensy push up. Inhale, three leg dog. And exhale, send that left foot forward to your lunge. Drop the hips as low as you like. Inhale, left hand up, twisting to look up. Exhale, left hand reaches under the right, really far. <clears throat> Again, inhale, reach up, twist it. And exhale, drop the left hand down in your lunge. Again, so inhale here, three leg dog, left leg in the sky. And exhale, downward facing dog, left foot down. All right, friends, one more vinyasa, then we're good to keep moving. We should be warmer. Inhaling here, find your plank, heart forward. Exhaling, walk to your hands and fold. Drop your hips, inhale to your chair, squat. Whew. Exhale, twisting, look behind you, point those knees forward. Inhale back to your chair, squat, and drop lower. Keep that belly button in towards your spine. Exhale, other side, twist, look behind you. Inhale, back to center, drop lower. And exhale, drop your hands, lift your hips, fold. Halfway up on your inhale. And a really big fold on your exhale. Okay, palms are down. Inhale here, back to plank. And exhale all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk it out here in your downward facing dog, friends. We should be much warmer. So hopefully you're feeling the difference in the backs of your legs, in your low back, in your hips, your shoulders, everywhere. Should be a little more friendly to stay here. If not, you know you can bend your knees a lot. Okay, and you can even drop your knees. So you have options. Okay, I'd like us to keep moving and exploring here. So here we go. With your inhale here, right leg up in the sky. Exhale here, right foot forward, but don't bring the foot all the way to your hands. Go ahead and drop that right foot underneath your heart. Drop that left heel to the floor. And then push the floor away. You can put your hands on your hips and come all the way up to standing. Okay, so here, your feet are not as wide as they would be for a warrior pose or a lunge, are they? They're a bit narrower. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. And grab your hips, line them up with the front of your space. So your hips and your shoulders are perfectly aligned with the direction that you're looking out into. And if that doesn't work quite well at first, you can try walking your feet more toward the sides of your mat, right foot's more to the right, left foot more to the left, okay? 
See if that helps you align your hips and shoulders better. So wherever you are, you're gonna to remember to keep a slight bend in your right knee. You're not gonna lock it out. Not here, not anymore for the rest of your life. You're not locking your joints. But with your longest spine, start to hinge at your hips and just fold until your upper body is just about parallel with the floor. Okay, and you might be a little more up and that's fine. But if you could get your upper body parallel with the floor, that's where you would stop. And you'll breathe right there. Breathing as you pull back on that right hip. So move that right hip back, send the left hip forward. So I want you to feel the back of the right leg really waking up. Really, really, really um, good release feeling back there. Remember you can bend the knee if it's too much. So from here, you have a choice to challenge yourself to reach out with one hand reaching away from your hips. If one hand feels right, you can do two hands out away from your hips. And breathe wherever you are. Pull the right hip back. Breathe. Okay, notice what's happening in that right hamstring. Keep your legs strong here. They're still pulling toward each other and they're still pressing the floor away. <laughs> One more big breath in here. And then bend that right knee, drop the fingers next to your right foot. And then shift all of your weight onto that right foot. A few times, we're gonna launch the left leg up into the air, okay, for a standing split. So don't let the word split scare you. Just bend that right knee and hang your head. And get the left leg nice and strong and long in the air. And breathe. You can be on your fingertips here. You can be on your palms, but do touch the floor some kind of way. If you can't reach the floor, you need to bend your right knee more. And you can even put the left foot down while you do that. You're still here. Breathe. Notice that right leg getting really wobbly. You can put one or two hands on the right ankle if you want. Let that head hang. Let the right leg get warm. Maybe one more big breath here in your standing split. See if you could strengthen and lengthen the left leg a little more and lift the left heel without lifting the left hip. Very nice. As you're ready, drop your hands on the floor underneath your shoulders and drop that left toe to the floor behind you. We're coming up to a three leg dog. So inhale here, right leg up in the sky. Let's turn this into a scorpion. So with your exhale, bend that right knee, point the right toes to the left and pause, okay? For scorpion. So remember that if you're in scorpion, you need to pull back on the left hip and drop the right shoulder and you can lift that right knee nice and high. Drop the right shoulder, pull back on the left hip. Great opening for that right hip. One more breath here in your scorpion, maybe extend that right leg just for fun. And then exhale, drop that right foot next to the left. You are back in downward facing dog. And take a few breaths here to shake it out. All right, we'll take a little, little tiny vinyasa in between before we do the, the left side. So inhaling here, friends, find your plank, move that heart forward. And then we're warm so we can hop it or step it to your hands and fold. Drop your hips, inhale to your chair squat, come on up. Keep that belly button in. Exhale as you twist, open to one side, look behind. Inhale back to center and drop lower, look up. Exhale, twisting to the other side, look back. Inhale back to center, drop a little lower. And exhale here, drop your hands, lift your hips and fold. Halfway up on your inhale. 
And a really big fold on your exhale. Palms are down here. With your inhale, hop it or step it back to plank. Yogi's choice. And exhale all the way down. So here you could do a cobra, lifting that heart up and open, or you could press the tops of your feet down, push the floor away and lift your thighs for an upward facing dog. And either way, with your exhale, roll it back to downward facing dog. Walk it out here in your down dog. We'll do the left side, okay? Pyramid pose on the left side, standing split on the left side, coming up. So here we go, inhaling left leg in the sky. Exhale, left knee forward, but drop that left foot under your heart. Drop the right heel, hands on your hips, press yourself all the way up to standing. So pyramid pose, make your feet just in the right places. Okay, you can widen your stance, you can make it just right, but hips and shoulders need to be facing forward. Grab onto those hips and start to fold at your hips. So you're trying to point your tailbone back. You're trying to shine your heart forward with your long spine. So remember to pull back on that left hip and keep your legs strong, pushing down, pulling in toward each other. And you always have at least a slight bend in your left knee. You're never, never, never gonna lock it. And you can bend it a lot if you want to, okay? So breathe here, pyramid pose. If you wanna add spice, you're gonna reach forward with one arm, maybe two. And that just gives you more weight to deal with, okay? Breathe though. Looking forward so your heart is really shining forward, open. Pull back on that left hip. Okay, should be feeling really good in that left leg right about now. One more big breath here in your pyramid pose. And then allow your fingers to drop near your left foot. Okay, at least your fingers, maybe your palms, but do touch the floor. So maybe you bend that left knee a lot. And then shift all your weight into your left foot a couple times. And then eventually you're gonna launch that right leg into the air. Embrace just being upside down. Just let your head hang. Walk your hands close to your left foot and just be here. So we want hips and shoulders level with the ground. We want the right leg really long and strong. So get it out there. Ah, breathe. So the left leg is working here. You can make the work a little more manageable by bending that left knee more. You can even drop the right toes, but you're still here. If you want more challenge and spice, you can take one or two hands to your left ankle. And that's gonna give you that wobbly left leg that is really effective for warming up all the little stabilizer muscles that wrap around your, your amazing, incredible, miraculous leg, okay? Our legs are so strong and there's so much going on. So push that floor away from you, extend and lengthen that right leg. Whew, maybe one more big breath here and you're standing split, getting warmer, getting more open. And then as you're ready to let it go, drop those fingers back to the floor if they were up, drop the right toes back to the floor behind you and let's come up to a three leg dog. So inhale here, left leg up in the sky and let's scorpion this. So exhale here, bend that left knee and point the toes to the right and pause to refine your scorpion. So super tempting to move that right hip to the right and lift the left shoulder. Do the opposite, move the right hip back, drop the left shoulder and then we can lift that left knee. Breathe, let right hip back, left shoulder down, looking to the right. So really opening up that left hip here. Maybe one more breath here in your scorpion, maybe extend that left knee just for fun. 
and then let it go. Exhale here, left foot to the floor. Whew. Okay, one more little vinyasa, friends, just to keep things moving, and then we'll slow the energy down here. Inhaling here, find your plank. Exhaling, hop or step to your hands and fold. Drop your hips, inhale into your chair, squat, look up, keep that heart open. Exhale as you twist, point the knees forward as you look behind. Inhale back to center and drop lower in your chair. Other side, exhale, look over to the left. Inhale back to center and drop lower. Exhale here, drop your hands, lift your hips and fold. Palms are down. Inhaling here, hop it or step it back to your plank. And exhale all the way down. Now I wanna stay on the floor for a little while. So stay down here with me. And we'll take a few cobras. So inhaling here, pull your cobra heart up and open. And exhale, let it come down. And you can close your eyes here, just kind of sink into opening up your shoulders and your chest in the front and strengthening that back body. It's super important that we spend time doing this every day because most of our lives we spend leaning forward and doing things, okay? So remember, as you cobra, your tailbone is pointing down and your heart is lifting up and you really are pulling on your arms, okay? It's tempting to push, but please only pull, pull, pull back. Okay, your cobra can be a little tiny cobra shape where your heart just peels up off the floor. For some folks, that's more comfortable. For some folks, you're just craving a big heart opening up and you can do that too. Different for everyone, it's different on the day. All right, next time you come up to your cobra, find one that you can hold. It's usually gonna be a little lower to the ground. Okay, because we're gonna reach the hands back behind. So hold here. So your heart is up and open. Maybe your bottom ribs are touching the floor, but you're pointing that tailbone down, okay? Point that tailbone at the center of the earth and lift your belly button away from the ground. Breathe. So we really wanna use the back body here, but we need to make sure the low back is safe. And that's why we always point tailbone down, belly button lifting to protect your low back. Now, if everything's feeling great, you're gonna lift your legs, but only if it feels good. Go ahead and bend your right knee here and point the right toes at the back of your head. If you feel good about it, you can reach your right hand for your right ankle and grab it. And let's reach the left hand forward. So the left side is long and floating. The right side is bound. Okay. Breathe here in a half bow. Okay. You could, breathing, allow yourself to rock a little bit. You'll notice your breath kind of rocks you. And you could also move that right foot back and move the right knee up, deepening the shape on the right side. Breathe here, friends, half bow. Notice the right shoulder opening, the right hip opening. Do your best to keep the tailbone down and the belly button lifting. Very nice, one more breath here in your half bow. And then let it go, just melt all the way down to the floor. Oh, you can rest your forehead and just enjoy the sensations left over from your back bend. Let them wash over you. Back bends are good for cultivating energy and a little adrenaline, a little excitement. <laughs> okay, palms back on your shoulders. We're coming up to a cobra again. So come up to one you can hold without your hands and then reach your hands behind you again. And remember, if this is ever too much, you're just gonna drop your head and you're gonna go from the head down, all right? But if everything's okay, head up, legs up, and you're floating. 
breathe, get the tailbone down, get that heart up, and get that uh, belly button up too. And then let's try a half bow on the other side. Bend that left knee, point the left toes at the back of your head. And if you're feeling good about it, left hand to left ankle. And that right arm can reach forward. So now the right side is long and lifted and the left side is bound. Breathe. Okay, if you feel good, you can pull the left foot back and lift the left knee and kind of deepen the posture. Breathe. Remember the tailbone. Remember your belly button. And then remember to smile. Half bow. Maybe you find yourself rocking as you breathe. That's okay. Embrace that. All right, one more breath. Hear it. Strong back body, open front body. And then let it go. Come all the way down. Just melt onto the floor. Notice all the sensation. Should be a lot of sensation in your back body here. A little excitement. And so we're going to try both sides. We're going to try a full bow. So if you are not interested in doing both sides and you just want to do one at a time, okay, like we did before, you'll just do one foot at a time that you grab. I'll just cue you when to, when to switch sides. Okay, so we'll start out the same way we started the other half bows. Hands underneath your shoulders. Come on up to your cobra and hold. Okay, hands reach back if you feel good. Legs are up if you feel good. If you need a break, you just drop your head. Okay, what if we bend both knees here? Reach one hand for each ankle. Okay, if you wanna do one, just do one. And then you can decide if you wanna pull those feet back, pull the knees up and breathe. See if you can get a little rock as your belly moves against the floor. Okay, think of lifting that belly button, pointing your tailbone down. If you only have one side here, go ahead and switch sides. If you have both feet and everything feels great, maybe you wanna switch your grip to the insides of your ankles. And that's just gonna give you a little more space to lift, a little more space in your chest. Pull that belly button in. All right, yogis, one more big breath here in your bow pose. And then let it go, melt onto the floor. Drop your forehead and just breathe. <sighs> Big breath into your back body. All right, friends. Hands back underneath shoulders here. Press yourself up to hands and knees. And then from here, touch your big toes together. But take your knees kind of wide, okay? Kind of wide. And then drop your hips back towards your heels. So we'll take a wide knee, child's pose. And you'll just allow your forehead to come down. Wide knee, child's pose. So we're getting quite deep into your hips here and your low back. So just breathe, take some time. Allow the hips to be really heavy on the floor. And maybe if your, uh, your chest and your heart are feeling pretty open, you start to look forward at your hands and drop your heart onto the floor. Make sure your shoulders stay away from your ears. Okay, so you always have that giraffe neck. So from here, friends, I'd like to bring in a little twist. So if you lift your head and your heart just enough, you can slide your left arm under your right and drop that left shoulder. Drop your left ear and arrange yourself into a nice little twist. 
So remember to keep your long neck. You want that left shoulder and right shoulder moving away from your ears. And then try joining your hands, interlacing your fingers and extending your right elbow. Breathe here. Close your eyes. Relax into the floor. Notice your belly and your rib cage moving a lot as you breathe, giving you all the benefits of this twist. Your spine is getting a massage, it's getting reset. Your organs are getting detoxified and massaged, and all the lymph is getting squished out of your body, out of your torso right now, you get cleaned out. One more big breath here in this twist. And let's bring it back through center. So back out the way you came in. Hands forward, the heart lifts just enough to slide the right arm underneath the left. Drop that right shoulder, drop the right ear. Okay, and then you can interlace your fingers, join your hands and extend that left elbow, deepening your twist. Breathe here, use your ribs, use your belly. One more breath in this twist. And then bring yourself back to center here. You could keep your wide knee child's pose or you can bring them closer together. <clears throat> okay, I like to kind of dig into this hip opener here, but we'll use this as our resting posture today. So. Allow yourself to truly rest and relax when you come back here. Allow your breath to slow down and be natural again. <clears throat> Allow your body to soften and just become easy. No effort, nothing to do. And just relax all of your weight into the floor. Allow your awareness to rest on your breath. Soft, easy, effortless breath. <clears throat> Notice all the sensations in your body as well. And in this way, you can really tie yourself into this moment and just be present. And it's okay if you notice your thoughts drifting past and <clears throat> kind of demanding attention as they will. That's all right. Bring your awareness back to this moment. Your breath, your body, the sounds you hear.
So please keep resting just like this for as long as you can. This is where I'll leave you for our practice today. So thanks for joining me.